wanted to give you a little tidbit here before we get the video started on what plan we use for our food. So we are, we've are we gone back to real plans. Um, that seems to be the best um, food preparing recipes that we've used. We've tried to do it on our own and we just end up eating a lot of the same stuff. So. We've gone back to real plans. We were on that quite a while ago, but we went back to it. It is a monthly subscription. I think it's six dollars a month we pay, which is worth every penny of it. I mean, it was at a buck fifty a week for them to do all the planning and stuff. And so I wanted to kind of give you guys a little short tidbit here on it uh, to give you guys an idea of how it works to see if it's something you're um, interested in. We're not getting paid by any. We're not getting paid by them to promote it or anything. It's just a great program, and it works really well for us with our gluten free you know, dairy-free, sugar-free, taste-free, you know, kind of diet that we, the kids and Christine and I are on, so it works out really well. So, again, you guys can take it or leave it what it's worth. A lot of the dinners that I'm cooking and showing you guys are off of real plans. Um, I will not be able to um, link some of the recipes just because it is a subscription. You have to have a subscription to for me to link it. So, I will do the best I can to link the ones that are not part of real plans and give you guys the, the, full, the full Monty on Okay, so here's what it comes up to, real plans. Um, looks like you can do it monthly, uh, annually. So we did it annually, which ends up coming out $6 a month. We were doing it monthly for a while, and then we just said, well, we like it, so why not just pay less than half and just buy the whole buy the whole month. So let's go to sign in. Do, 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 do. Okay, so here is this week, which is not, you just go up and switch here. Okay, so this is, I'm gonna take a look here real quick. Do, do, do. Yeah, so this is the one we decided to go with. And so you've got, uh, this column is breakfast, this column is lunch, this column is dinners. Typically we just do dinners. So I will go in and delete these off because we can, you know, kids are doing lunches, I'm doing lunches for myself at work, which is usually leftover dinner and lunches, or breakfast, Breakfast we don't need. Lunches are usually leftovers or the kids do their own lunch boxes for school. So we're just mainly focusing on dinner. Um, but here it'll go in and it'll give you, like this one is slow cooker or roast chicken with lemon. And so you click on that. Take your time. And then here comes your recipe, boom. Then you can go up and you can print this out and put it in your file or whatever. But it'll give over, over here it tells you you know what your servings are, how long it's going to take, what your total cook time is, and your average cost. And then you can cook, you know, you can change however many people, however many servings or whatever, and that will change your recipe. And then if you like it, you thumbs it up, and then it puts it like in your favorites. If you don't, then it moves on to the next one. So that's an example of that. So on the main week here, you can go over here, and if there's if there's dinners on here you don't like, you can just click on this little like shell deal. Or if there's like that, look at that Monday, Tuesday, Monday. That's Thursday that doesn't have a meal. So then you can come over here, and it just starts proposing meals. And if you're like, yeah, I don't like that one, it goes to the next one. Yeah, I don't like that one, it goes to the next one. Oh, I like that one. So then you hit the plus, and then it'll drop it in your plan right there. And so then you can click on it and get your recipe, or it depends on how you do it. You can get your recipe and all your instructions right there. And then what's really cool, if you go that route, I print them all out and put them in a binder because there's a lot of them we like to eat later. Um, they also has a neat feature here, a shopping list. So once you get everything on here that you want, you can add, you can minus, you can um, edit however you want to. I go up to, you go up to shopping list and bam, there's your shopping list for the ad entire, for all those recipes for that week. So I'll print this out. I'll go through all the stuff that I currently have at home, cross it off. And then that's my part of my list to, to go to Costco and Winco right there. It's already pre-done. Tells you, you know, you need three, 12 years of corn if you're gonna make all that recipe. You need six onions, you know, it's everything. Your meat, seafood, spices, drinks, cans, eggs, bulk, I mean everything. So it's a pretty good program. So that's what we use, guys. So when I when I reference, you know, I'm cooking a meal or whatever, and I reference, hey, I'm doing this off of real plans. You guys kind of have an idea of what we're going off of, and it's got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of recipes in here that you can cool or you can peruse through. So again, we're not getting paid by it or anything, but it's just it's a great program. If that's something um, you guys are interested in, I would strongly advise it. You do get to when you set it up. 
and I don't know where it's at because I did it when I set it up when you buy the program it allows you to go in and select your diet that you're on so if you're on the keto diet or you're on a paleo diet or you're on dairy free diet or whatever you check all those boxes and then all of the recipes that it poops out are specific to that area they're not you're not going to find like ours is dairy free or whatever you're not going to go in there and you're not going to find anything with dairy in it. you're not going to find anything with gluten in it anywho so hopefully that explains the real plans now we'll get to the video and you guys will check out all of the uh, meals we did for the week and that way you guys kind of understand where I'm coming from and where we made all of our uh, meals from later. What's going on guys? It's, it's been a minute. So getting back to dinner vlogs. So tonight's Friday and you guys are, well, you're kind of getting a bonus and you're kind of getting gypped because I'm cooking two dinners tonight. So tomorrow's might be just a short snippet, but tonight you'll get the, you get the full meal deal. So I forgot because we're getting back into routine. So, I forgot to show you how I prepped that. That's what we call oriental chicken. What I do there is I put just regular chicken in the pan, and then I put half a cup of coconut amidos, which is like a gluten-free soy sauce, a little bit of olive oil, a teaspoon of fish sauce, teaspoon of fish sauce, <laughs> fish, fish sauce, and then a tablespoon of sesame oil, and then like 10 cloves of garlic and a little bit of ginger. Like I zest, like maybe a half inch of ginger. So it's maybe like a teaspoon of ginger. So I pour the sauce in there and then we cook it. So that's tomorrow's dinner. Tonight's dinner is corn on the cob. Turn that down. Chicken on the smoker that hasn't made it yet. And baked potatoes that are already on the smoker. They've been on there for about 20 minutes. So I will uh, put the chicken on. And then I season it with my secret sauce here that I've developed over the years for smoking. So the chicken's not quite done yet, guys, but the taters are done, so I'm going to take those off. But there's a good look at the... Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, so here is the... What do you call it? Oriental chicken, I guess. Teriyaki chicken, however you want to call it. So that'll be for tomorrow. So that will just go. That will just go over rice and some steamed broccoli, basically just like a chicken and rice bento, bento kind of deal. So that'll be for dinner tomorrow. It's all done. It's off the smoker. Bam! There it is. So that's what a plate looks like. All plated up. That's TT, and then the other minions right there. So ours will look just identical to that. But we'll probably put a little bit of green green onions on our taters. That's what it looks like, there, kittens. So here we are, Saturday night's dinner. Wanted to give you a couple couple things before I showed you dinner. One, we're gonna do the leftovers from or the meat I cooked last night, the Oriental chicken. But I just wanted to show you how we do a rice. So the rice, I do three cups of brown long grain in the instant pot. And then I do um, usually two cups of chicken stock and two cups of water in here. It gives it a little bit more flavor. It's not, it's not just your bland, bland old rice. So we do that. We're going to have green beans because I thought we had uh, broccoli, but we do not. So we're having green beans tonight with the chicken and rice. But I wanted to give you a little, little tech tip 22 here. The last time we went to Winco to buy rice, we found this. I didn't realize they had these and it comes out to be so much cheaper. So we bought 25 pounds. Usually we pay about 70 cents a pound for the rice. But going buying a 25 pound bag, I think it went down to like 59 cents a pound. And it's something we're going to go through and we go through it all the time anyway. So we just take, fill a couple jars up like this, put that in our pantry, and then I'll refill these with this once they get down. So we got dinner wrapped up here. I did want to say, so I took the meat from last night that was already pre-cooked. I stuck it on the pan and I put it in the oven under the broiler. Give it that little bit of charred teriyaki chicken look. So it plates up all nice and looks all fancy there. And then we got the perfect rice in the Instant Pot. Got the perfect. Oh, you're the one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Got hungry kids here, people. So we're gonna get to dinner. So that's what's for dinner on Saturday night. Later. So uh, what what is today? today Sunday. Is Sunday. 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 Fun day. So tonight we're just going with the standard operating procedure of 
Tacos. I said Taco Tuesday, we're doing Taco Sunday. So I'll run over, it's been a while since I run over our standard uh, fixings here. So um, two and a half pounds of turkey meat from Costco, it comes in a Costco package, and then we just stick in the standard mix that we get from Costco. The big old, you know, big old, what is that, McCormick's? So we just put that in there. So we got that going on, we got some corn going on. People keep asking, I see comments for gluten-free stuff that's good. This is one of the brands we use, and the reason we use this brand, there's a couple store brands, like, I can't remember if it's like Safeway or Freddy's, their store brand of shells is good. The reason we buy this one is because it's corn and lime. That's it, there's no crap in it, basically. So, we have shredded lettuce. I know, let's get a high five and thumbs up for all the people out there that like to finely shredded lettuce, yeah. Avocado, tomato, onion, olives. Same thing on the olives. We buy an all natural olive, so they're not perfectly black. They have they're brown. They're brown, but they're natural. Only thing they have in them is sea sea salt. That's it. Um, pepper, pepper jack cheese, which Christine and I'll eat a little bit because it's it's a white cheese. And in taco sauce, we do a lot of Victoria. This one is the hotter one of the two this one on the left and we use this one too again because we've read the labels and it doesn't have a lot of garbage in it basically it's tomatoes garlic vinegar it's it's pretty 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 safe so we did our standard operating on the rice we did three cups three cups of rice to four cups of liquid you can determine what your liquid is and then i've got about a cup cup and a third maybe of chopped up cilantro and then about a half a cup of lime I will put all, excuse me, I'll put all that in there and then I'll shake it up and then it'll be BAM! There we are, all locked and loaded. We'll get the 3D effect. We'll start over here. You can check out the sides. Go right into the steam coming off the taco. <laughs> there you go. Alright peoples, this is what we got going on for dinner on Monday night Labor Day. So this is kind of a... Two for one, well not two for one, how do I explain this? I prepped this dinner like a week ago when we got all of our meat and stuff from Costco. So what we're doing for dinner tonight is Salisbury steak. Our printer is out of ink or else that would look better. So here are the patties, they're hamburger patties with all kinds of yummy fixins in the patty. And so I just made the red wine Salisbury sauce from Family Math, guys. He's kind of slow. and the mushrooms to go in there. That's enough from the peanut gallery. Good so, job, honey. so dinner, and then we got potatoes back there. If you can see the potatoes up there, so you got you got to cook the burgers up for a little bit first, and then you put the pre-made sauce and mushrooms up on there, and you let them saute for like a half an hour. They get a perfect. I just want to give you guys a rundown of what we do on our mashed taters because it's pretty simple, and I'm sure people out there want to know. What? First you have taters. Taters. I, that's what I just said. Mashed taters. You know what you just told me? What did you tell me? You said you said uh, you said I love the way you cook, and I said I'm a mess, and he says yeah, but you're my mess. Aww. I know, right? We're right. Did you tell him that already? What? Yeah, here we're doing prepping. You can see the kitchen's a disaster. We've got like 14 different dinners and stuff right. going on, breakfasts, everything everywhere. All right, back to potatoes. So I just boiled regular old potatoes, organic potatoes, threw a little bit of garlic up in there, and then I do about, I don't know, that much, maybe a hair more, and then I just mash them up, no butter or anything, and then um, if anyone wants butter, like the kids have ghee butter, so they can put that on there on their plate. Ghee, <laughs> ghee. And then if, you know, if I want butter, Christine wants butter, then we can put the grass-fed butter on there that we have. But that's pretty much it for mashed potatoes. That way it's, you know, gluten-free, dairy-free, taste-free, all that good stuff. Yummy. And actually, they come out really, really yummy. This dinner is brought to you by the table. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Uh, you got your steak there with a little bit of mushrooms and yummy sauce, a little bit of butter on that. On this video, it makes it look like there's a lot of butter. It really, there's not that much on there. Green beans. That's that's the dinner for uh, Labor Day there, people. It tastes amazing. Happy Labor Day. Happy guys. Labor Day. It is, I don't know, first day of school, whatever day that is. <laughs> what is today, Wednesday? Tuesday. Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. We're not having tacos. We actually uh, had uh, fried chicken, as you can see, it was delicious. 
So get out of here. So we had fried chicken and we did some like gluten-free noodles there and salad. Looks like that. We almost forgot guys. With <laughs> the noodles right there. So that is what you call kind of a half put together dinner because I forgot to grab the camera when I was dishing. Tuesday night, first day of school. I hope you guys made it through the day. All right, dude sickles. So I had a major party faux pas yesterday. I forgot to vlog, but it's because the wife and I had to run out and do kind of like some emergency like uh, shopping services. And so we grabbed the taco. We grabbed the taco while we were out, but I totally forgot to vlog it. So we had tacos last night and nachos. Tonight we're having, I forgot what Christine calls this, but it's kind of like a chicken bake where you dice up a bunch of vegetables. So there's tomatoes, chicken, broccoli. It's a sheet pan dinner. It's got lots of veggies and stuff and you just bake it all in one sheet in the oven and then you throw it in the fridge. We put it on top of rice and it kind of makes a quick meal. So we've got a ton of that left over. So that's what we're eating for dinner tonight. That right there. Bam! Good morning, gents. So, went to bed last night. Was in bed and totally for space that I was supposed to get dinner because it was the final dinner of the week. So we're getting, you get bonus, bonus footage. So it's Saturday morning and I figured I'd give you one of our favorite breakfasts we like to make. So I've got a pound of Italian sausage and about eight ounces of mushrooms diced up, sauteing in there. And then I will add diced up Roma tomatoes, green onions, and fresh basil. I'll put all of that in there, add a little bit of garlic, probably three or four cloves of garlic crushed. Get that all nice and hot and toasty. Dump it into our silicone pan here, and then I'll add probably 10 eggs into the mixture, kind of stir it up a little bit, and then I put it in the oven for about a half an hour. And it makes this wonderful um, casserole that the kids will actually eat. So here we are all sauteed up. So I just put all the veggies and everything in there, sauteed it for just like two or three minutes enough to heat it up. I drain everything out that I can because the less water that's in here, the faster it cooks. So we've got 11 eggs here. I don't know why I picked 11. I think it was just because there was 11 left in the container that made it kind of easy to decide. So you just take this and dump it right over this. Kind of smooth it around here, make sure it's all evenly in there. Do, 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 do. And so pop that in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes and then breakfast is done. All right, fellas, here it is all dished up. So we've got ourselves our, what do you call it, our casserole there that's been put on the plate and kind of spread out so it'll cool off. Got some tater tots for potatoes for breakfast and we just went with some strawberries and bananas for our fruit for the breakfast so that wraps it up so that wraps up the week guys appreciate you watching if you like things like this i promise it'll get better and better i'm just a little rusty right now but go ahead and hit subscribe and drop a comment below if you guys like it or have any comments basically and if not we'll catch you next week later guys